the possessive structure, it may refer to someone else. Like in the Arabic language, you say, Rabbul Dar, Rabbul Amal, the Lord of the business, or the Lord of the uh, house, and so on and so forth. Meaning he is the master. But when you say, Ar-Rabb, then this can only be fit, and it only is attributable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ar-Rabb has three main qualities. Three main qualities are involved which make him distinct from everyone else. Al-Khalq, creation. Al-Mulk, sovereignty. And Al-Tadbir, arranging the affairs of the creation. These are things that none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does. He is the Lord. And the Rububiyyah of Allah Azza wa Jal is divided into two categories. First is general and the second is specific. As for the general one, it is Allah's Rububiyyah to the whole creation. Who created the children of Adam? Who created the heavens and the earth for them? Who gave them everything they have? Who gave them everything they have? Who protected them from the time they were conceived in their mother's womb? I mean a woman, while she's pregnant, she moves, she walks, she sleeps, she may fall at times. How is this baby, this tiny creature that is in helpless in the ultimate sense of the word, helpless, even when he's born he cannot do anything, let alone in the early stages of development. How is he preserved and protected for nine months, living in a small container, in a bag? If you really want to look at it from another angle, a baby living in a bag, a bag with, full of liquid, somehow surviving. Then the ability to be delivered, then the ability to be nursed, then the ability to be protected and preserved until a person becomes old. Who does this? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of everything. He's the one who arranges everyone's affairs, sustenance, livelihood and everything. The specific one is the one which is only for the believers. The one the rububiyah of Allah to the believers, as in, He guides us to Iman. He allows us to be believers. He safeguards us within Islam. He prevents anything which will hinder our path from making it to our final destination. It's, just, it's, just, it's a special kind of rububiyah to Allah's righteous servants, where they are protected, preserved, aided, given victory, until they reach the ultimate victory. This is a special kind of rububiyyah, which not everyone has. So then Allah the Rabb is of two kinds, one for the general masses, and one for the righteous believers. This is why if you read the Quran, you will find that very often, the Anbiya, the prophets and the messengers, when they wanted to supplicate to Allah, they would use the word, Rabbi, my Lord, seeking the special rububiyyah, the one who is the caretaker, the one who is the maintainer, the one who is the who maintains and, and protects the creation, and particularly the righteous servant. So Rabb is a great word with great meanings. And so is Al 